How's it going, everybody? <clears throat> Gaming Grandpa here. This is episode one of Viva Pinata. It's an older game. It's backwards compatible, and it happened to be free on Game Pass. So hey, why not, right? This channel is all about 100% games, and I know I can 100% this one because I've done it before. Now it does take quite a few hours to finish this. I'm not going to be videoing or creating videos of everything that I do. There's really no point in that because it just it would get really boring. But what I am going to do is just kind of hit highlights and different things like that. Now, I've already unlocked some achievements. Uh, have been playing. And for whatever reason, it will show up here, but it doesn't show up. There we go. It shows up here. Oh, it's a 360 game, so you got to do that. But here's some of the... Where is that? Unbelievable. Oh, here we go. Okay, the old school. Let me see. I unlocked, I got to level 10 already, made five variant pinatas now. For those of you that don't know anything about this game, it's it's a cute little game. I enjoy it. It's It doesn't drive you crazy. It doesn't want you to make you want to throw your controller across the room. It's nothing like that. It's kind of a peaceful little game. Now, there's a lot of things to do in this game, but it all revolves around your pinatas. To make variant pinatas, you have to have a resident pinata, and there's requirements for doing, you know, to make them appear to visit, to become a resident, romance them, and everything like that. But anyhow, to get a variant, you have to do different things. For example, the little worm guy, if you feed him, I believe it's a apple seed or a butterscotch seed or something like that, he'll change color and therefore make a variant. And that's pretty much what you do. I've made five variants throughout my game, my garden so far. I made five species residents. And here's the problem with Viva Pinata. It's easy to get overwhelmed once you start getting into it. All of these different species are showing up and they suddenly become residents and you don't know what happened. Then you realize that your really cute green worm has been eating. You know, that you spent time making a variant for him to eat, you know, to turn into the green worm. And a bird ate him, a sparrow ate him to, you know, become a resident. So it's kind of frustrating sometimes on that one. But like I said, I'm getting plants now. I'm getting everything popping up at one time. So it does make it kind of frustrating because you seem like you're overwhelmed. Just enjoy the game for what it is. You could have multiple gardens. I'm going to go ahead and enter my garden here just to kind of give you a little of kind of show you what's going on. For those of you that are new to this game, it's a fun game. I recommend it. And it's not a really easy thousand points just because it does take like 50 to 60 hours to, to play. Um, it really does. It, it takes a while. And what I'm doing here is I am romancing these little guys for whatever reason. I thought I had more of them romanced. Yeah, here we go. All right, I wanted to show you all of the romance scenes from, the, not the romance scenes, but the how to, to complete these. Now, the first thing you'll notice is there's these coins. You don't have to collect them by any means. It just, it gives you more coins to use when you get back to your, your garden. And you have the timer. It's always 60 seconds. None of these are impossible. If you see underneath the timer, there's two little faces of the worms. That's how many lives I get. I've already become a master romancer. What that means is you have to breed or romance your, your pinatas seven times. On the seventh time, you'll unlock the, the reward. Oh, crud. There's a fight. Of course. Now, doggone it, they do this, and this is, you know, it, it happens. But, oh, well, we get to have a fight. I don't really care about this. I want him to hurry up and get it done. He's going to be sick. Now I'm going to have to call. <laughs> if you can catch him ahead of time, you can smack one of them with a the shovel. It's not really that good. Or pour water on him or do something to get him to quit fighting. But he wants to be a knucklehead and fight. So, whatever. Now, there's ways to prevent that in the future. You can make fences and just stick them into fences, but I don't really want to do that. It's kind of, I didn't even really want the shelly bean. He just kind of appeared, and next thing I know, boom, he's a resident. Now, I can sell him and send him away. I mean, there's no point in that. I, I, he's here. I might as well try to go ahead and get him. And the doggone sparrow mint is going to end up getting in trouble. He's trying to romance, and this is what happens. But anyhow... To get a Master Breeder Award, you have to have bred or romanced, played that little mini game on the seventh one, then it will un, you'll get that award. 
and there's certain species that require that award for different things. The worms don't. But I just kind of wanted to show you all the romance games that when I play them and I come to them and I can't get out of this. I don't know what's going on. This is starting to aggravate me because they're just taking their sweet time. You see the black and white pinata, the little snake there, he's visiting. He's not a resident or he'd be in full color. There's different requirements to get them. Now the whole point of this game is to try to match your pinatas out, get you know, get all the rewards you can, get all the variants you can. Everything gives you experience to get up to levels. And the higher level you are, the better garden you can have, the bigger garden you can have, the more tools you can have, and the better pinatas you can have. But at the same time, I'm trying to get all the achievements. Oh, and they just keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. Now I will tell you that I own this game on I have the disc the actual hard disk for it all right the experiment there we go I was gonna say all right here's the sparrow game and as you can see I I got it now the award for it <clears throat> now this one here I need these to turn them into canaries and different things like that it's just however you want to play I, of course, am trying to get all the achievements for this game, but I'm also enjoying why I play it because it is a lot of fun. And I'll be showing you some of the harder achievements to get. Okay, so who fought and nobody's sick yet. So I don't know what is going on here. Craziest thing, if I ever did say so myself. All right, I was going to show you the Tafly too. That didn't work out. Now, what you can do is, once you get your award, you can go ahead and just sell all your pinatas like the worms. I've, I'm done with them. Uh, I wanted to keep the worms to get the experiment. To the requirement for the experiment is he has to eat a worm to be able to romance. So that means you're giving up two worms. Well, each time they romance, you have to let them eat a, eat a worm. Or you can go ahead and buy a romance candy, but why spend the money when I have the worms anyway and I get money for breeding them, so I might as well do it, right? So that's why I kept the worms. Now, now that I already have them, I also want to get all the variants done. And uh, I didn't, I went to the wrong thing. Um, the encyclopedia, I believe, yeah. And you go to Pinata Awards and it should be able to, Resident Pinatas, Player Awards, uh, it's under the player awards. I haven't played this in so long. It's like I'm trying to redo it. Okay. Anyhow, it tells you all of them. Now, if you can notice the worms, I have those little medals, I guess you would call them. They look like flower medals. But I have everything done. The Master Romancer's done. I need to get one more variant on him. Now, if you go into here, it would tell me the variants that I've actually gotten. He's eating a watercress flower and one turnip, <clears throat> which is really kind of funny that one turns him green and I don't know how I got a watercress flower because I don't have a watercress seed yet but I don't, <laughs> I don't know where it came from I think I was able to buy one I'm not for sure where it came with in the turnip you have to actually grow into a plant and he eats it and he turns purple so I still need one variant and I have a really good guide up that I look at to tell me what all of them are so once I get the third variant I have done absolutely everything I can with the worms and then I could go ahead and sell them and sell the house and that way it frees up room and frees up more space. One good thing I like about them is when you sell them they're worth 100 coins and they're easy to breathe and you don't really have any other requirements so it's really kind of cool. But anyhow this is basically Viva, Viva Pinata in a nutshell. Uh, this guy here if you click on him he usually gives you seeds and it's usually a seed that you don't, oh what's this one? It's a seed that you usually don't have. I don't even know what this one is. I'm going to check and see. Oh, great mystery seed. All right, well, we're just going to go ahead and plant you. I don't know what it is. There's also an achievement to, like when you plant them, you got to put on some a chili. Oh, cool, okay. Usually by clicking on him, you will get seeds that you normally don't have and that's a good thing so all right there's the taffy flies i got to get them up there too but the experiment i still need to get two more variants to get them done and the good thing about that is that i can turn them into another oh great here comes this guy i could turn him into another resident 
pinata. It's a candery, I believe. I have to let them do something, and then, then I'll have those. There's all kinds of pinatas. Uh, most of them will just come wandering like that. Bat was coming wandering around on my, my garden, and there's requirements to get him to turn into a resident. He's a sour one, which you can read up on all that later. They're a nuisance until you can actually break them out of their sour phase, and then they become residents. But there's so many pinatas in my garden right now, individual ones like the snake, and I have moss, and I have all these other things that I really don't want right now. But it is what it is. They're here, so I'm going to try to take care of them. You can create as many gardens as you can on here. I think up to nine, I believe, or eight, something like that. You can have that many gardens, and you can keep different species in each garden, which some gardens you're going to have to have all water. Other ones you're going to have to have just all grass. And it, there's a lot of different pinatas, and it's a lot of fun. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off now, and I'm going to just periodically be showing you different videos of this game as I progress and different things like that so hopefully you know it's a game if you haven't checked out that you'll check it out because if you have game pass it's free why not right and it's it's a game to come back to I really enjoy playing it it's it's a lot of fun so hopefully you enjoyed this video and like subscribe comment critique me I'm still learning how to do these so by all means critique me all you want and I'd appreciate any feedback but anyhow I'm gonna get going so y'all have a good day and thanks for watching